all serious innovation done uh, over the last century, which has been the century of the explosion of innovation, had an in a huge impact on the business models of the company. You have to combine the internal expertise of your company with external knowledge. You need also to involve uh, at a multi-level uh, discussion uh, also your customer, the other company, in order to uh, create uh, some uh, sustainable and deliverable growth. When you work on innovation, certain issues will come sooner or later out, like the intellectual, intellectual property rights, for example, uh, the greed, you know, who's going to have the benefits, who's going to have the acknowledgement, you know, that this innovation is coming from them. Make sure that you clarify things up front. You don't want to get yourself stuck into a legal battle or into killing a potential innovation uh, only because you didn't manage these aspects before. For companies to, to survive on the long term, it's very important to think in functions and not in solutions. So if you think in functions, then it's also possible to think outside of the box, as we call it, and to look into other industries, to other companies, um, and to see how have they uh, tackled similar challenges as yours. The project uh, must be concretely communicated uh, to the customer uh, through uh, some specific analysis uh, and the evaluation uh, of the performances uh, and in some cases also of the CTO, so the cost account we can provide to our customers. It's important to also really communicate it to your employees, to your um, uh, to people with who you collaborate, um, and to constantly keep them informed on the progress and also when you have success stories to communicate them to everybody to show that innovation works and what it means for their business and their specific uh, activities. There are three elements that really encourage people to be innovative and deliver outstanding results and these are autonomy, mastery and purpose. So top management uh, have to realize that if they want to obtain outstanding results on innovation they have to encourage these three elements but this is a one-way road. You cannot encourage people, you cannot give them autonomy and empowerment and then withdraw it because you don't like the results. And learning from the mistakes today uh, is very important to be very successful in innovating.